Hi everyone, this is your cat for Yule updates. Fans of Chinese Paladin would know that the stories often have sad endings, but sometimes it can be up to interpretation. Let's get into the two Sword and Fairy series that practically aired around the same time. Sword and Fairy, Chinese Paladin 6. Yue Jingzhao dies in battle, but is resurrected at the cost of Yue Qi's memories and existence, as well as Ying Shu Wei's life. Yue Qi and Yue Jingzhao both live with no memories of the past, and no one remembers them. Wolf demon Qian Qing exhausts his thousand-year cultivation to save everyone. Thankfully, he survives for a happy ending with Zhao Yan. Ming Xiu, who sacrificed her own eyes for the chance to see the big bad's weaknesses, finds peace in her memories of her shifu, Gu Hanjiang. Bian Luohan's love for his disciple Yue Qi was always destined for a sad ending. He willingly gave up his entire existence and everyone's memories of him to create Yue Jinzhao three years ago so that he can assist Yue Qi in her mission to defeat her own mother as Bian Luohan was no longer able to. Luo Maiming sacrifices countless lives to free Luo Zhaoyan from their curse and ultimately dies in her arms to save her from the wrath of the people. Ju Shifang, who fell in love with Shuo Shen at first sight, died a hero's death in trying to take her down since they were on opposite sides of war. It looks like only one couple managed to stay together to the end, but in the very last scene, the main couple encounter each other on the streets. They are strangers without their memories, but there's hope for a fresh start. Sword and Fairy 4 Han Lingxia was destined to die before the age of 30 due to divine punishment. Despite this, she sacrificed her life force sustaining divine punishment once again just to help Yun Tianhe during the final battle. Yun Tianhe manages to save everyone but he pays a heavy price for defying fate, losing not only his eyesight but also Han Lingxia. He spends a hundred years at Qingluan Peak alone guarding her tombstone. Mu Rong Ying is left alone, with only memories of Han Lingxia and his unrequited love. While the Tionghua sect turned out to be the big bad, he manages to reorganize the sect and lead it to a rightful path. Liu Mengli, who grew up with loving parents only to find out that her real identity was a demon, reunites with her mother and succeeds the position as demon lord. The friends fulfill their hundred-year pact to meet again. In the final scene, Han Lingxia arrives to take Yun Tianhe away, marking a bittersweet moment of reunion for the two lovers. While it's a joyous occasion to see them together at long last, it also signifies the end of the century and the end of Yun Tianhe's life, as Han Lingxia appears to escort him into the afterlife. So what are your thoughts on the endings?